Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with my weekly haul from last week. So I am, like my life is in shambles right now. I have got stuff everywhere. Like I'm trying, I'm, I'm so behind on filming videos. So just bear with me while I try to get myself caught back up. So I know everything looks different. We're in a different filming space, but I will be working on this. I will be working on the lighting. So um, yeah, just bear with me while I kind of get through this transition. But anyways, I've got some really fun stuff here to talk about. I picked up some gems this week and I'm really excited to share them with you. So let's start with one that, and let's see here. Some of these were, well, a lot of the things that I purchased come from suggestions from you guys in the comment section. Thank you so much for all of the awesome suggestions you guys are always giving me. And this um, this first one is was one that somebody just commented that they wanted me to uh, test and smell and see what my opinion was on it, and I fell in love. This is a fragrance from Karl Lagerfeld. And it's just Karl Lagerfeld Eau de Parfum for women. And I got this huge bottle. It's so affordable. I got this huge bottle on Mercari for, um, I hope this is okay. It's like really hard for me to see in my viewfinder. I think I look kind of crazy. Um, I hope that you guys can see the perfume and that the lighting is okay. So, I love this little bottle because um, I'm going to try to see if you can see it. On the little A, no, sorry, on the K in Carl, there's a little silhouette of Carl Lagerfeld. It's so, so cute. It just makes this bottle so special, and it's such a kind of plain Jane nondescript bottle, even though it's beautiful. It's really thick, heavy glass. It's really, really nice. Um, the silver part on the lid is a little bit cheap looking, but... Um, I j yeah, it's not like the most high quality bottle in the world except the bottle part, like I say, is a really nice thick glass. But that little silhouette of Karl Lagerfeld in the, on the bottle just makes it kind of, it just gives it a little touch of something special. But let's talk about this fragrance. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of, um, it kind of reminds me of something from the 90s. So this like I said, it reminds me of something from the 90s. It is peach, lemon, magnolia, rose, frangipani, musk, woody notes, and amber. And I'm reading reviews of this. I did come across some people that felt like it smelled kind of tropical, probably from the frangipani. Um, I don't, I don't find that it smells tropical. This smells like a light musky floral, but not musky in like a not musky in like a sexy musky kind of way, it's musky in like a clean musk kind of way. And it's, like I say, it's beautiful light bright florals in the top. And then that beautiful clean musk in the bottom, there's just a touch of sweetness. It's really, really pretty. I'm glad I got this huge bottle because it's one of those just like easy breezy, can wear anywhere, any time of day, any time of year, just perfect. Um, while I was reading reviews of this, I also came across one that um, somebody felt like it smelled like one of the kind of molecule perfumes that are around today, and I would agree. It definitely has that kind of molecule-ish vibe because it's very um, clean and fresh smelling, and it's but it is much stronger than a molecule perfume. This one you're definitely gonna get some de decent longevity out of. Uh, I got a good six to eight hours out of this. I mean, this is one that you're gonna spray on and you're gonna smell it all day long. So now, it's not gonna like project like a beast all day long. You're definitely, you know, it's not one of those, those fragrances that some, oh my goodness. It is not one of those fragrances that somebody is going to smell you before you enter the room, but it's not like a wallflower either. It's definitely somewhere in between. Um, I love it. I think it's really, really beautiful. It, again, reminds me kind of like of a late 90s, early kind of 2000s style perfume. It's just really, really nice. Fresh, clean, soft floral. So, I've spent enough time on this one. I'm mean, going to move on, but I'm thank you to whoever gave me the suggestion of trying this one because I absolutely adore this. So glad to have it in my collection. So again, that is Karl Lagerfeld Eau de Parfum, and I think just like for her. 
um, yeah, can be found really inexpensively. Okay, the next one. This is funny because uh, somebody, I recently had like a little conversation with somebody about Chanel fragrances and uh, one of my favorite Chanel fragrances that I don't even own is Coco Noir from Chanel, but I don't own it because I do have like a small decant of it. I've tested it. It doesn't last very well on me and I've got, I don't know, I've got four other Chanel fragrances. Um, I've got all of the Chant, well actually five. I've got all of the Chance line from Chanel, which I adore, but they just don't perform very well um, on me. And I had Gabrielle, but I have the Dossier um, dupe for Gabrielle, so I just sold my Gabrielle because my Dossier one performs so much better and smells exactly the same. Um, but with that being said, I've never picked up a full bottle of Coco Noir because I just can't justify the cost of it. They don't perform well. They're just not great perfumes, in my opinion. I just think that they're overpriced for what they are. So I went on the hunt for a good dupe and I found a great one. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. If you feel like I do and you just don't want to drop $120 on a bottle of perfume that is going to last you all of an hour and then you won't be able to smell it anymore, um, I have a great dupe for you. So this is a fragrance from Armoth. This is their niche line, which I had another one in this line. Um, I think I had I can't remember which one, I think it was the red one, but um, I've since passed that along because I never re reached for it. But this is the Pink Coral, which the name does not at all <laughs> match what this smells like. <clears throat> because this is an absolute dupe for Chanel Coco Noir. And um, I'm so excited. I do have a decan of Chanel Coco Noir, so I was able to test them side by side. There, is, there are some very slight differences. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. But there, it's not enough that I feel like I need the original um, or that I need the Chanel. So this is what the bottle looks like. And this is gorgeous. And it performs so, so much better than the actual Chanel. And I'm just so excited to have <laughs> gotten this. Okay, so pink coral is orange, bergamot, jasmine, rose, patchouli, vanilla, musk, and vetiver. And it's basically like a musky, rosy patchouli with a lot of vetiver in the base. It's gorgeous. It's deep. It's dark. It's like everything that you want. If you like, if you know that you like a Chanel Coco Noir, this is basically Chanel Coco Noir, but it's um, you really, the only place that you really detect a slight difference is in the dry down and I don't even remember, I was in the middle of moving when this came and that's when I tested them side by side and I can't remember, I re all I recall is that I detected a very slight difference in the dry down, but I couldn't articulate to you right now what it is. I'll definitely, uh, retest them and I will do a follow up with you guys if you're interested. Oh, this is gorgeous though. So that is our Moth Niche Pink Coral. I picked mine up for like 35 bucks. Really beautiful bottle, like super heavy, nice thick glass. Um, so yeah, super excited to have that one. Okay, this next one. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to finally have this in my collection. So this is a fragrance by the uh, brand Fresh, which can be found on like Sephora. They're pretty darned expensive. And this is just a little half ounce bottle, but this is a fragrance called Memoirs of a Geisha. And Fresh came out with this when uh, the movie Memoirs of a Geisha came out. And I adore that movie. I read the book. I love the movie. I just think it was so beautifully done. Um, I love Japan and Japanese culture and it's I just think it's just a stunning movie I have wanted this fragrance for so long as soon as I saw it come out after the movie came out um, I wanted it but I back then worked at a minimum wage job and I could not afford anything from this brand so I just recently came across this on Mercari for a really good price and I snatched it up. I don't even remember what, or I didn't remember what it smelled like. Oh my gosh. 
but I didn't even care because I was like, oh my gosh, I always wanted that and I couldn't afford it. And it's only a half ounce bottle, but I don't care. I love it. I actually love half ounce bottles, so that's perfect for me. So, Memoirs of a Geisha. This says um, on the back of the box, the film Memoirs of a Geisha tells the captivating story of a young girl growing up in a renowned geisha house and follows her transformation as she learns the arts of the geisha. Fresh Memoirs of a Geisha Beauty Collection, inspired by the film, is an extension of the Fresh Rice and Sake Collection based on Asian traditions of beauty. Uh, Fresh Memoirs of a Geisha Eau de Parfum is a sensual floral fragrance. This subtle blend of sheer jasmine flower and pure rose absolute mingles with sparkling lang, lang sap fruit and white peach absolute to create a tender and alluring combination. So yeah, this one is so gorgeous. Uh, it's got, you really just get the peach and the rose. It's such a gorgeous combination. Oh my gosh. It's like a super realistic fresh peach smell. It's not, it's like light and airy. It's not syrupy or sweet. And then you get this really beautiful, like pure rose, like rose petal smell. It's gorgeous. It's just such a beautiful fragrance. And like I say, I'm so, so happy to finally have this one in my collection. That is Fresh Memoirs of a Geisha. This one I am gonna keep in its box too, just because I pined after this for so long and I'm so happy to have it. Next, we have got uh, my scent bird for the month. And I picked out a good one. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize. I don't ever like mess with my cue. It's like I, barely ever look at it so it's a total surprise of what I'm gonna get every month but this is a fragrance called yesterday from t room 1015 so the house is called room 1015 and this is the fragrance called yesterday and this is um, from what I remember based on like the Beatles and um, yeah it's based on the Beatles and this is so stunning oh my gosh I love this. This is completely unisex, even leaning a little bit masculine. Oh my gosh, but it's so, so good. It smells a little bit vintage-y, but modern. It's gorgeous. So, uh, yesterday is cardamom, thyme, basil, bergamot, orange, geranium, lavender, caraway, artemisia, vetiver, white musk, tonka bean, sandalwood, and, and amber wood. And this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's super woody. It's very, um, it's very herbal, very herbal smelling, very aromatic smelling and woody. And you get the tonka bean. Oh gosh, it's beautiful. I really get the thyme in this. Oh, I love it in the cardamom. It's like a spicy, aromatic, woody fragrance that leans masculine, but I am going to die for this. Like this would be great any time of year, but oh my gosh, I just think it's going to be great in this cold weather. So anyways, that is room 1015 yesterday, and I am really, really loving that one. Okay, next we've got one that I have wanted for a really, really long time. I want the other one that goes with this as well. Um, this is... Ever since I saw the picture of this bottle, I just wanted it for the bottle. This is a Sugarful from Michelle Germain, and which I think when I did my video on this house, I called him Michael Germain, and I'm pretty sure Michael is probably, or Michelle is probably Michael, like in French, but I recently watched a documentary on Netflix called um, Who Killed Little Gregory, and it that was such a good and heartbreaking documentary like if you guys are interested in true crime at all it is so good but I realized then when I was watching that documentary the husband's name was Michelle and I was like oh my gosh that's it's Michelle Germain not Michael like I'm such an idiot but with that being said I have wanted this fragrance for a really long time I've heard really good things about it and when I saw the bottle I was like oh my gosh that bottle is to die for it's a little sugar dispenser like a little old-fashioned sugar dispenser I am just head over heels for this bottle um, the reason I held off on this one so much is because I felt like it was going to be some kind of a rendition of pink sugar and it definitely is but this is 
super bright. This smells like sour candies and sugar, and then it dries down to smell something like pink sugar, but without the burnt caramel note in there. So if you like pink sugar, but you don't like that burnt note, that like burnt caramel sugar note in it, then this is for you because that's what this is. This is like sour candies that turns into pink sugar without the burnt note. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I am, I love this. My husband was like crazy for this one. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So sugarful is wild strawberry, tangerine, cotton candy, pink peony, musk, and sandalwood. And it's just, I mean, there's nothing like, um, you know, there's nothing super unique about this. There's nothing like, you know, it's not like blow your socks off or anything, but it's just so, so nice. It smells so, so good. If you just want to like legitimately smell like candy, this is for you. So anyways, that is Michelle, Michelle Germain Sugarful. And they have a Sugarful and Spice that I'm going to pick up soon because I want that one so bad. Okay. And if any of you have that one or have tested it, please let me know what you think about it because I want to pick it up and um, I would love to get some feedback before I do. Okay. The next one I picked up, this was such a steal. I found this for like 20 bucks on Mercari and I've been wanting it for such a long time. My friend Jennifer here on YouTube, um, if you her, her channel name is Perfume Collection and Reviews, she sent me over a decant of this like a long time ago, like probably eight months to a year ago possibly. I think in the first batch of um, decant trades that we did. But anyways, this is a Juicy Couture Viva Le Juicy Noir, I think is, yeah, um, yes, uh, Viva Le Juicy Noir, and this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Ugh. It's just, it's like sugarful. It's nothing, you know, like super unique. It's not, you're definitely not gonna smell sophisticated, but I don't even care. You're gonna smell amazing. This stuff smells so good. And the only thing about this is I wish it lasted longer. Um, this doesn't perform that great on me. So next time I wear it, I'm just gonna oh, way over spray it and hope that it performs a little bit better. But. Juices can go either way. Sometimes they can be like super, super strong to where if you spray more than a few sprays, you're gonna like make yourself sick. And then, which I didn't, you know, I didn't know how this one was gonna be. So I I kind of went a little bit light handed. So it's probably my fault. I think if I maybe overspray, it'll be better. But anyways, uh, Juicy Noir is wild berries, mandarin orange, honeysuckle, gardenia, jasmine, caramel, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood is so good you guys I just love it and this huge bottle that well not huge but 1.7 ounce bottle was somebody had it listed on Mercari for 20 bucks so super super steel and I love the bottle it's so beautiful it's just like this pink like hot pink mirrored glass so pretty so anyways, that is the uh, Juicy Couture Viva Le Juicy Noir. Okay, the next one, this was another subscriber uh, suggestion and I'm so, so happy that I picked this up. This is Bulgari uh, Aqua Divinia and um, I haven't been the biggest fan of Bulgari perfumes but I have a feeling that I just haven't smelled the right ones. So um, yeah, I'm gonna dig more into this house but this is one that somebody uh, commented and said, you, sh you should definitely give it a sniff, like, I love it, and um, she listed all the notes for it, and she said, you might not like it, but, um, you know, and one of the notes listed was beeswax, and I commented back to her, like, you had me at beeswax. As soon as I saw beeswax, I knew that I had to have it. This smells so good, you guys. Oh my gosh, it, she's right. It's definitely not a safe blind buy. It's not one that I would you know, say like you can safely buy. Um, oh my gosh, but I love it. I can see how this could veer um, into too mature smelling territory. Oh my gosh, but I love it. I love it. Uh, okay, so Aqua Divinia is salt, ginger, bergamot, quince, magnolia, woody notes, beeswax, and amber. And 
I get a lot of quince in this. The quince is very, very prominent. The salt is prominent, but it's not like overly salty. It's just beautiful. It's just such a unique fragrance. Ugh. I just love it so much and I definitely get the beeswax. There's this beautiful waxiness to this. Oh, I love it so much. So that is Bulgaria. So, that is Bulgari Aqua, Aqua Divinia. And then the lovely soul that I purchased uh, that I purchased this from, and I purchased I think a couple other, maybe just one other thing. But I purchased from her. She's a subscriber here, and she sends along. Number one, she packages everything so cute. She packaged it in this little black box with this cute little winter sticker on the front. There we go. Oh, how cute is that? Oh my gosh. So she had this in there. She sent along some stickers and um, some washi tape for my daughter, which was so sweet. Thank you again so much for that. And my, those stickers are like all over my child's bedroom wall now or walls she like stuck them all over everything she adores them and it made her room so cute especially because she's it's not decorated or anything yet but um it definitely like instantly made it kind of feel like her space but anyways so um we've got the aqua divinia that i purchased and then she sent along a couple of decants and um, these are both decants that I have never smelled before and I love it because she writes like the year that the like the year of the bottle that she's got and um, it's it's just great so this one I didn't write the notes down or anything I just wanted to quickly share them with you this is called Bollywood from a house called smell bent which is super cute um, and she said that this was like a light easy to wear sandalwood fragrance Oh my gosh, and it's gorgeous. I can't wait to wear this one. I haven't tested it yet, but I'm super excited to try that one. And then she also sent along another Bulgari. Um, this is Bulgari Ote Rouge. So, and this smells like a tea fragrance to me. So I'm thinking it's like maybe a red tea fragrance. It's really nice. I'm excited to try this one on the skin too. So she sent those along cutest thing ever. I was just, my heart was full. My heart is always full when I, I mean, ugh, even your guys' comments. I just love reading your comments and I don't know. It just makes me, it makes my whole day. So anyways, okay. And then last but not least, I finally picked up a fragrance from Aura Flame. So these I've never found a place to easily purchase these here in the U.S., but um, I did find, I came across one on eBay. I don't even know how I came across this, but I came across this and then I found the link to an eBay listing and I just went ahead and purchased it. It was really inexpensive, like 13 bucks for um, this little purse spray, but this is a fragrance called Love Potion. I feel like I'm really wordy today. Yeah, I feel like I'm talking too much today, so I apologize. I think it's because I haven't filmed a fragrance video in so long that I'm just like blah, like vomiting. Okay, so anyways, this is called Love Potion, and I picked this up because number one, the notes sounded amazing, and number two, um, I've never tried a fragrance from Oriflame before, and I've, ha I've been asked to review some of these, and um, I did find a few on eBay and I may pick them up. If you guys have any particular fragrances from this house, definitely let me know um, what I should pick up and I will go look for it. But anyways, this is gorgeous. This is called Love Potion. I wish I had bought a full bottle of it now because it's so good. This is rum, ginger, cacao, vanilla, chocolate, tangerine, lily, more chocolate, tonka bean, and sandalwood. And this is gorgeous. It really is like a boozy chocolate fragrance, but not like super boozy. It's not, um, you don't get a ton of that rum, but you do get just enough. Oh my gosh, I wore this yesterday and it didn't get me through a whole work day. Like this wouldn't be a good work perfume for me. 
because it I could smell it on myself for probably about six hours but it was one of those that like after it wore off it was gone like I didn't smell another thing so anyways that is love potion from oriflame and then they also sent along um, a little sample this is um, this is another fragrance from oriflame and it's called Amber Elix Elixir Crystal, Crystal, Amber Elixir Crystal, and when I first saw this, I was like, "Ooh, no, blue, uh, like colored perfumes are never a good idea, just because you're gonna stain your clothing, or you know, I don't really care about my, you know, my skin, but I just don't like artificial coloring and anything really." Oh my gosh, but this smells so good. This is supposed to be kind of like an aquatic amber. Oh my gosh, and it smells so good. I feel like I'm going to need to get a bottle of this. I didn't write the notes down for this one, but like I say, it's supposed to be like an aquatic amber. It's got a sweetness to it. I tried this on my skin, and it smelled so good. Oh my gosh, I love it. So yeah, I need to track down a bottle of that one. So that is Oriflame Amber Elixir Crystal. So anyways, guys, those are all of the fragrances that I have picked up uh, over the past week or so. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.